Hi, I'm Bob James. I'm one of the most sampled artists in the world. And you can have the possibility of sampling my music yourself through Tracklib. When I started to learn and find out about sampling, I felt like I was really, really naive because by the time I even knew that it was going on, that art form had existed for a while. And somebody came up to me and mentioned an album called He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper. They said, well, this one particular track samples your song Westchester Lady very prominently. And so I listened to it and I was completely shocked because they hadn't asked permission. And I was already by that time very well aware of the importance of protecting your copyrights. If, if you're lucky enough to have copyrights, you need to protect them. And I thought, gee, if they used my song, Westchester Lady, very prominently. In fact, unlike what I eventually saw with sampling, they kind of took almost the whole recording and then they just rapped over the top of it. I eventually had to kind of stake out my territory and say, hey, wait a minute, guys, you didn't have the right to use that recording. But by the time I found out about it, explored what my options were, it had already won the Grammy Award for the first time a rap album had gotten that kind of an award. So to make a long story short, when they realized that perhaps they should have asked my permission in advance, they were cooperative and that kind of started me on what has become a pretty long adventure in many different ways. Lots of different samples, so much so that to this day it's a shock to me that so many people want to sample my recordings primarily those recordings from the 1970s. I feel like as long as it's creative, as long as it's licensed properly, I have actually kind of become a fan of that music and I try to learn from it. Tracklib is a very new phenomenon to me, but it's a company that almost by definition is doing what I wished that would have happened 30 years ago. It's a new adventure for me going with Tracklib, but the way I imagine the company is that it's making this whole process of bringing artists from different genres and different generations together through collective way of organizing recorded sounds so that they can be used, so that they can be sampled, so that they can be licensed. So many things have made recording accessible to so many more people than in my era. So because of the fact that that's being done so much, it's very important for there to be a place where you can go and find out what the regulations are. If you like my music, for example, and if you find it on Tracklib, you will be able to find out very quickly what it's going to cost and how much you could use and how you can use it and what are the legal ramifications of using it in a simple, organized way. I think it's fantastic. It's going to lead to many new creative things for the future. The way Tracklib can help new producers is just a, a gathering place, I think, and that no matter what your ideas are, theoretically you can go there and check out through an organized uh, search engine something that will fulfill your creative need. If you're looking for some boogie-woogie piano part or if you're looking for the, the crazy electronic hip-hop sounds, whatever, you're gonna find it there in the huge library that they have. And not only can you find it, you can instantly find out what the options of using it and how to use it and how to license it and how to protect yourself and your content provider like I plan to be with Tracklib. I can feel like I'm comfortable that they're gonna take care of me and make sure that we're all happy at the end of it. We're happy in a business sense and we're happy in the creative set. That's my most exciting feeling that all the conversations that I've had with the guys at Tracklib so far have been, how can we have more fun creating new music with all the incredible possibilities we have now with sampling. One of the things I'm looking forward to, haven't had the chance to do it yet, but I want to have it go in both directions. I, I want to create something myself based upon what I might find at Tracklib. I might find a specific artist, producer, I hear something of theirs, and then I can hopefully use Tracklib as a launching pad. 
go back. Okay, I love what you did. Maybe we could do something together. I've thrived on collaboration my entire career. It's, it's what's always turned me on the most, is getting the feedback, getting the inspiration from somebody that I'm collaborating with. I absolutely think that the concept of track lib can change in a good way how people make music because they're opening many doors and the world of creation is infinitely wide and the more information you have the more likelihood that you're going to end up with something new and fresh and creative so yes I believe track lib has that kind of potential. Mm -hmm.